Hi everyone, this is Jeannie Ellis, also known as Scrapbooking Mamma. Today begins a new challenge over at Crafters Castle Challenge Blog. And we are also sponsored by Tater Made Cards for You each month. And this month, the kit is called Rusty Rails. And I will put a promo sheet in this video so that you can see what the papers will look like. Now this blog is a uh, challenge blog is uh, uh, open to everyone internationally, all craft le uh, styles, all skill levels, whatever you want it to be. And I will put all the pri uh, links below the uh, challenge blog and the, the digital kit and everything that you need to know, plus the other design team members will be in the description box. So make sure that you check this out. Now, the first thing I want to let you know is my paper is um, going to be a little bit different than the original piece that I made for this project. But I want to show you how I made this. This is called a One Sheet Wonder um, mini album. And here's what I did. Let me just show this to you. I have a uh, bow to tie. You can do a band if you want to, but I did a bow with ribbon. This is a black sheet of paper decorated with the Rusty Rails kit. And I just simply love that black against it. It is gorgeous. So you open it up. You've got all these. I've got magnetized to where, you know, they will, the flaps won't pop up and be hard to fold. And I've got all this in here and all this in here, all these pockets in here with tags. You can do whatever you want with it, but this kit, isn't that just gorgeous? But to show you how to do this, I am going to use a white sheet of paper instead of black, because black is kind of hard to show sometimes. So let's just see if the white will work. So the first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to score at 2 and 1 a first. This will be your small line. This is where your flaps come in for your pockets. And then you move it over to seven and one eighth right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's hard to get that to show. So there's, it almost sounded like it was cutting there. Okay, so then the next thing that you want to do is take your paper and rotate it with the skinny part at the top. So this first one, first score line on that side is going to be three and three fours. And then at four, and there'll be you'll see the reason why we move it over just a quarter of an inch. This isn't true white, this is a, like an ivory color. Oops. And then you move it over to eight. And then eight and a fourth. You want to keep your trimmer out, but you want to put your trimmer trimming blade in it this time. Now, what I'm going to do first is that I am going to fold on all these score lines. Now what happens is that these quarter inch pieces on the inside here are going to be your spines, left side and right side. I'm going to go ahead and cut those sections out and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now of course you'll if you use an X-Acto knife or the trimmer, you can probably get a better cut 
but I'm just doing this for show to show you how I do it. And I did cut off a little bit too much there, but it'll be okay. So now the next thing is that you want to take your ruler and mark off at the top in the middle flap where three fourths of an inch is. right there and right there and take your ruler to make a line from this point here to the three-fourths inch line at the top and then you just cut that And excuse my shakiness, I've been sick, so. Okay, now, this is your top, and these are your flaps for your pockets. On the top left flap, we want to cut off a half an inch, just at that top there. And then at the last flap, we want to cut off a quarter of an inch, not half inch, but a quarter. So you have a quarter inch on the last one. So it's going to be smaller. So now you have the half inch off here, angled here, and erase all your marks that you made, and a quarter inch there. So it's going to fold here and here. Flap here, flap here, and flap here, and then here comes the spine part. Now you have a little mini album. This one's a little crude. I did it, did it just to show you what to do on it, and it should fold pretty well to the other side there. If you have it, there we go. There we go. Now we got it. And what I did on mine is just I put ribbon on uh, the outside, but you can do a belly band and put on there too. So now the next thing, and I've got a scrap sheet of paper. For some reason, my printer didn't print all of it. This one did. This one printed all of it, so we'll go ahead and use that. But I want to show you how I do the inside. And the outside, because the decorations going to be uh, paper is going to be on the outside and inside. And I want to show you how I did that. This paper is just gorgeous. Oops, I didn't get on the line there. Good. Which wouldn't really hurt at this point, because it's going to be cut down. I just cut off the sections of that the paper that's got four designs, two of each design. Okay, we put this aside again. Now what I did is I took my ruler. And I measure each side, but I do, you want two sheets for the front, one for the front and one for the back. So here's one, but I need to size it down. If you make two of these, instead of covering all this, we turn over and remeasuring again, you just measure one time. And that way you won't forget. So here's my lines on the inside. And this is... See if I can find it. There it is. This is not quite, it's about four inches wide. So that means it's going to be four inches this way. And then this is in, let's see, about four and three quarters. So four by four and three quarters. So we 
remember you're doing two of these so that way this can go in the front and then you can have one on the back and you don't have to worry about remeasuring i remeasured and it took me longer to do so then just take your paper Place it on here in the middle, center it between the two score lines that are inside. Oops, I may have cut off too much at the top. Nope, that looks good. Okay, so anyway, just make sure that you measure whatever dimensions that you want for the inside to place your paper. Now we have this little cute flap. Now, this is going to take a, a little ingenuity on my part because I'm not good at math <laughs> anyway. This should be about four inches. So what I'm going to do, I want this to go the right direction. So I want this to be, uh, let's see, it's going to be three and three quarters over here. So what I'm going to do on this No, I better do four for now. I'm going to take a little bit off this on each side. So what I want to do for this is measure it on the inside and then go ahead and cut it. Let's see, this way is almost four inches. So we're going to cut it, trim it, uh, Trim it down to, I'm going to try three and five eighths. But I'm going to cut up and down first to get the height of it, which is about two inches. So if I do this at one and three fourths, and the next thing I want to do. just going to draw the line here that's already on here I mean that's measured here and I'll show you what my ingenious way to do it which isn't so ingenious so you can see now I've got this to where it's pretty even there on the sides and I don't want it to be that even so I'm just going to take it and you can do it however you want to but that's just the way I'm doing it. I'm going to take my trimmer and trim off a little bit at a time. Okay, it came out good there. So, there we go. Whoops, I need to tape it better. So if I sound a little spacey or something, I have been sick for a long time, over a month now, and I'm just a little shaky. Okay, so there we have the top piece. So before you tape this one down, take your paper and cut out another one to go on the other side. So do two of each piece at the same time, two here then two here, two here, and so on. Because that way you don't have to remeasure. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you're going to end up with something like this. Let me move this out of the way. And that, that was actually, that is pretty with that paper. But I just like that black because it stands out much better. So now you have this cute little album that you made using one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. So I'm going to put it back together. And you decorate it any way you want to. These papers are perfect for this kit, this album. Then you can fold it. And make sure that if you use a ribbon, that you put your ribbon underneath your top layer of paper on each side. Because if you don't, then you're going to have ribbon edge showing. And you don't want that. Or you can do a belly band. Either way. 
Now I didn't do much decorating on the outside of the paper because I like the album the way it is. So when I did do a little bit of decorating, pearls here and pearls here and put the engine 31 here, some washi tape and I cut out this piece from some of the ephemera sheet. And I just adore this album. I love it. So I hope that you enjoyed this and that you will try this. And I hope if you do try it, let me know. And I will see you next time. Be sure to take a, a look at the description box below for all the links that you need. And many blessings. And I will be back another day. Bye for now.